This is Joel Embiid four years ago. Remember, he did have surgery then teaming up with Ben Simmons. Uh, this time around, they don't know if he needs surgery yet. So, uh, for Philly, if Embiid is out for a number of games, how do they combat uh, losing their MVP finals? Well, if you look at this team, it's set up good for James Harden to not shine because you bring another superstar for occasions like this. We know MB has had issues with injuries, so now you got James Harden. Tobias Harris is saying he's, a, he's an all-star. So now, Tobias, you had a moment to step up because you're going to have the ball more in your hand. Now, if you need another big off the bench, good thing you got some veteran leadership over there with Millsap and DJ, so they can come off the bench and give you a little bit more size if you need it. Now, you mentioned James Harden in round one, scored 19 points a game, 10 assists a game. What he said about those Raptors, man, their defense, this is the hardest series with their length and athleticism on the wing. Uh, how did he adjust as the series went along to game six where he started to look like himself again? I think James' quickness, he can spread the floor out a little more. If you see the pick and rolls, they were starting to set a little bit higher. Like in this pick, this, this clip right here, look how high the pick and roll is. Now you got him able to navigate and see the floor. You get a good pocket pass over the top to the to the offensive guy for layup. Now here, this is what I like best. He's looking at young fellas, says take off, and he kind of hesitates. He throws the ball ahead. Now Max, now you got a head start going downhill. Use your speed to get to the hole and get to the back. Right here, this is Pat and James Harden right here. Yada yada yada. Dribble dribble dribble. Step back. <laughs> boom. Three pointer. That is vintage James Harden. And this is probably one of my favorite plays right here. What James Harden does because look how high this pick and roll is. He comes off this pick and roll. Look at that lane. I got this lane. You know what? I use the latest, but no, I'm gonna go in with a thunder dunk because you have to be aggressive in the playoffs. And this needs to be James Harden. Not 10% of the time, but 90% of the time when with MB's not playing. You said you have to be aggressive. And Tyrese Maxey, uh, the young up-and-coming player for the Philadelphia 76ers, was that in round one. And also, quiet as kept, Tobias <laughs> Harris as well. How big are those two guys going to be in this series against the Heat? Well, we know what Maxey did in his last series. But to me, my eyes, my eyes are going to be on Tobias because Tobias has been that forgotten man because we always, we've been talking about the big three, MB. Harden and and and, and Maxi, but we kind of forgot about this guy. You know, with Embiid out, he's able to score 20 to 25 points. Now he's got to kind of push that to 30 because it's the playoffs. 25 was good in the regular season, but in the playoffs, we need 30. Oh, I get that. A guy who's <laughs> averaging 30 in the playoffs, Jimmy Butler. Remember, he did not play in that Game Five clinching win against the Hawks. Last Tuesday, so he's got an entire week of rest uh, for that knee soreness, and he's back. Man, Jimmy Butler, what are you expecting from him in this series where he's been playing his postseason, having a week off? You know, knowing Jimmy since he was 15 years old, you need to be Jimmy Buckets, man. You got that nickname for a reason. When you're aggressive, you make that team so much better. I know you can facilitate and you can do things defensively, but offensively, you got the talent. So don't just sit back and expect everybody else to get theirs. Go out and get yours because once you get yours, that's going to make it easier for everybody on that team. Jimmy Butler now with the Heat looking to burn his former team. <laughs> so what's your prediction for this series? Heat resting and healthy 76ers without their star center. I, I think because the Heat has home court advantage, I'm going to say the Heat in six.